Okay, so on this one, you're finding the volume of an L block, or we'll call, call it the volume of a composite figure. So first thing you gotta do is we've gotta separate these boxes into two different boxes. So I'm just gonna bring this down. I've cut into the 12, so that's not 12 anymore. If a top of a rectangle is eight, the bottom of the rectangle is eight, and that means this whole thing used to be 12, but we've cut it into two boxes, so this part is four. All right, this is box A, this is box B. So we need to find the volume of A. And on volume, I always want you to write um, A's volume equals length times width times height. And then you just plug the numbers underneath the letters, underneath the variables. So our length is four, that's our L. Our width is two, and I know this because these rectangles right here at this corner, nothing's overlapping, nothing's going, um, like this top box isn't hanging off the edge back here. So if the width of this box is two, then that means the width of that box is two. And then my height is 10. Four times two is eight. Eight times 10 is 80. So A is 80. I circle that. So I know I've got to go back and add that. And now I'm gonna find the box um, B's volume. So B's volume equals length times width times height. That kind of went over there a little bit. So B's length is eight. The width is two. The height is three. Two times three is six, and eight times six is 48. So I take both of these numbers I add them together. 80 plus 48 is 128 cubic, and this is inches, cubic inches. Okay, oops, you can't see that. 128 cubic inches. Let me scroll down to like uh, number seven because it's not as straightforward as number one. So there's number seven and let me get a piece of paper to write on, okay? So we're gonna have A's volume of length times width times height, and then we'll have B's volume. That's how you work each one of these, length times width times height, okay? So we're gonna cut, why don't we cut this, what if I cut this way? I'm gonna cut it this way. So bring my little red pen knife and I'm gonna cut down right here. I cut into, I cut this box off. So this is no longer eight. If this is six, that's six. It used to be eight, so this part is two. Because your two that's cut off, this section that's cut off is worth two, and that is worth six. Two and six are eight. So this will be my width for everybody. That's the width. Actually, this one's gonna be a little different because that one's there. And my height is five. This is five, so that is five. And these all kind of depend on your perspective. Let's just call this one box A this time because I've already got its measurements circled. So I'll do six times a width of two times a height of five. Two times five is 10. And six times 10 is 60, so I circle that. Now for B's, since this is an L shape right there, we're looking at this five. This much right here is two and this is three. So this length is two, that's what we cut off down here, and the width is three, and this height is five, and two times three is six, and six times five is 30, so I circle that. Now if you look, I have my two numbers circled, so I'm gonna connect them, I'm gonna add them, and 60 plus 30 is 90. And they measured that one in yards, so you would say cubic 
yards, 90 cubic yards. Okay? So you're going to finish the rest of those on your own.